Hi, this is Ollie from Applevisor, and today we're going to be having a look at the UP Hydrogen Charger. Here it is, it's pretty simple. You have the charger itself. It connects by magnet to the bottom. You press that button and it turns on, pretty simple. Um, and that ch charges your phone using the USB socket in there. Uh, when you finish, you're meant to just turn off the charger, unplug it, put the dust cap on the bottom, then you're all gone and you're all done. Uh, so you, here we have the box of the charger, pretty Apple-like box, especially with the way that it opens being the slow open like that. Uh, here's also a picture on this screen that I took of the charger a couple of days ago. Basically, it consists of a hydrogen fuel cell and a burner, which creates electricity, allowing you to charge anything with a USB port. The charge comes with an app which allows you to see a lot and get access to much information, such as the settings in which you can change the name of the charger, change the cutoff point, and view the connected cartridges. In the Geek Stats section, there is access to information such as the temperature, current runtime, total runtime, the cartridge time remaining and more. The analyzer is a simple page which prompts you to connect the up to the charger or displays your device's battery level and the percentage with a animation illustrating the movement of energy between the charger and the phone. Moving on to the fill up section, you can even look at the refill points in your area or search for refill points. As you can see it's slightly limited to where you can refill, only London and Birmingham currently, but I imagine it will increase in due time. On to the support section. You have to have access to frequently asked questions and the about section which has all the information about your app. You have the access to email support and phone support and that's about it on the app side of things. Moving swiftly onto the weight device. It weighs in at roughly the same as a medium sized torch and is about the same size so not really pocket sized. The charger itself looks and feels really nice and has some really nice features such as the magnetic attachment system, protector on the bottom, and it's one button operation. Now to the tech side of it. Basically, you get the hydrogen reacting with the oxygen. So you have the hydrogen here, and you have the burner here. When you connect the charger, you the gas connects here. Uh, it's all smart, so it can uh, register how much is inside, and it uses these connections all in here and it basically goes on, you press the button, it basically kick starts it with the battery inside it's it and then it starts making a noise uh, which means you can hear that you can hear it, like a faint humming which is the um, process taking place um, also smells a bit uh, so basically so basically you get the hydrogen reacting of the oxygen in the air and they combine creating electricity, heat and water vapour so there's no harmful gases just water. Now onto the way that hydrogen is extracted. Basically, you pass the current through salt water and you can extract the hydrogen that comes off the water. Now, because you use an electrical current to extract the hydrogen, that minimizes the eco-ness of the charger. When using the charger, it gives off a weird smell and makes a quiet hissing noise. Nothing much unless you put your face up to it. Now onto the bad points against up. It's very big and heavy, meaning it's not easy to carry around. It's expensive to buy. £150 for the fuel cartridge and the charger, and then an extra 50 quid for a fuel cell is very steep for something which just charges your phone. You can only charge your phone five times, and that's based upon an old generation iPhone. So it's more like three chargers on the new iPhones. When you finish with the cartridge, you have to get it refilled, but you can't just get it refilled from anywhere. You have to go to London or Birmingham, which means more money spent on fuel to drive and less eco. And then when you actually arrive at the refilling station, you get charged around 6 quid for the small amount of hydrogen. So overall, a very expensive device. Overall, this charger is a really nice device with a stylish feel and a sort of simple slash geeky feel to it. But if you're charging your phone for a whole year, it only costs you 26 pence. And if you're going camping, you don't want to take a large charger. Just get a large capacity phone charger. They only cost 20 quid. And is it worth all this effort to charge your phone for 150 quid plus 6 quid for refill? Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to see plenty more great videos.